This has gone way too far. Drea Humphrey here with Rebel News, and if Drag Queen story times were already not sitting well with you, you're going to want to watch this entire report. And please, when you're done, don't forget to share it so many are aware. You see, two mums in the UK are now profiting off of organizing, wait for it, drag queen raves for babies. That's right. Story times normalizing men who like to perform transvestism for other people's children, that could be a thing of the past. Now they're sold out shows that don't just normalize the traditionally adult only nightlife of drag for wee ones. They're also starting to normalize a term used to describe drug infested party scenes called raves, which by the way is well known for providing an environment that many young people die in, including teenagers, from overdoses. I got to give it to the mums, Gemma Downey and Lizzie West, a little bit of credit at least, because you see, unlike the wokest in North America who pretend drag queen performers are not associated with adult sexual entertainment, these mums were telling it like it is. For 22 and a half pounds, parents and tots can attend what in their own words they have described as cabaret drag and burlesque events. Yep, burlesque for babies, it looks like. Oh, and worried about child grooming, are you? According to this post here on Instagram, even if you don't have kids, but you want to join in on the burlesque for babies fun, you can come too. Meanwhile, the parents' inhibitions are being lowered as they are mixing and drinking drinks. And perhaps not all parents there partake, but what reasons outside of being completely intoxicated out of your mind can you come up with in the comments to think this is okay. I know. It's sick, right? What is happening to society? These shows have been going on for just over a year now, and they may throw some bubbles and foam and glow sticks around, but what you saw right there is the same thing I saw. Men, and maybe even women, stripping for babies. That's the type of entertainment I imagine perverts at Epstein Island would get off on. Not convinced that society is crossing a line here to the point that that many people have started to think that this is normal? Well, let me go through a couple of pictures with you here. I snapped some of these screenshots from the two mums' social medias just before they shut down their Instagram that same day, no doubtedly from the international outrage they are now seeing. But let's look at these pictures and keep in mind when we do that, babies and children, they look up and idolize colorful characters like Barney, Paw Patrol, superheroes. They often want to be just like them. Here is what appears to be a woman who is dressed up as one of those heroes, Wonder Woman. She gets right to business by starting to take off her robe and then her red corset to hold up a sign that reads, who you are is beautiful and amazing. Okay, but why does one have to remove clothing to do this? And then look here, more signs, yet far less clothing. And then look here, she stitched her signs, she stitched her clothing, all to do what many would argue is the real goal here, to expose yourself sexually while holding a baby, one that you groom to like you after dressing up as a superhero. I mean, this is some real Sodom and Gomorrah type stuff. I mean, strip entertainment for kids and babies. Now, if what I've said has offended you, fair enough, but don't go using the LGBTQ plus community as some sort of shield for your anger towards me. 
What's taking place at those baby raves is not representative of everyone in that community. Far from it. We know this at Rebel News because we bring you the other side of the story, which includes interviews on that perspective. In an article by Manchester's The Mac, it states that the mums who created what I suggest is a safe haven for child groomers and predators came up with the cabaret sensory baby rave experience because they wanted something that they would like to go to. There's only so many times you can listen to the effing wheels on the bus. So we wanted to experience a big London night out with cabaret drinks and dancing, but one that you can bring your baby to. Well, sometimes you can't have your cake and eat it too. You want to go to raves. You want to go to strip shows. You want to see drag queens perform burlesque. That is completely fine. But for the love of God, leave the babies and children out of it. For more reports on this horrific topic sweeping many countries and to make a donation to Rebel News for fearlessly covering this side of the story, go to keepkidsspacessafe.com. Drea Humphrey for Rebel News. Rebel News fearlessly brings you the other side of the story, the stuff that the state-backed media won't dare to touch. And that includes the sexualization and child grooming issues with children. But none of what we do here at Rebel News is possible without you. So if you value this important coverage, please contribute to it so we can continue to do so by going to keepkidsspacessafe.com. That's where you can find more reports like this to share, and you can support our independent journalism that covers this important news.